What is up YouTube? It is your boy Echo IGO coming at you guys with a brand new video. I got my boy here, Brett Perez again, bro. Playing fairies, undefeated in this tournament. Look, look, look at this shit. This shit is packed, bro. This shit is packed. My camera's blurry. But I got my boy Brett here. What's up, bro? What are you playing? Uh, today I played fairy. I had to switch it up. I fairy. gave up on the plant zombie. Yeah, everyone, everyone knew this guy as this plant zombie guy. Yeah. Oh, and then after the Amaryllis. And yeah, then... I just played the Amaryllis. Oh, God, I hated that day. <laughs> I gave up on it. Uh, I wanted to play something that took a little bit more thought process. Yeah. And like you got punished for making the wrong plays, so that way you just learned a little bit more. Yes. So I decided on fairy. Plus, Christy is like one of my favorite cards of all the time. All, of all time. Oh, so. hey, hey, before we get started on the profile, Guys, make sure to drop a freaking sub and a like, bro. Like, help a brother out. Please, please. And let's go, bro. My boy Brett, let's get it, bro. What right. we got here? So, today I play fairies, obviously. Uh, I'll go for it a little bit. Three Christias. I know some people are cutting this down to two, but this is the best card in the deck. So, like, they're going to dead draw it if it happens, but, like, you need to be able to summon this or see it. So, I feel like three was just, like, mandatory. Okay. Uh, and then for the recruiters, three Shining Angel. And three Nova Summoner. Oh uh, wow! I know some people play five as well. But, uh, so so wait wait before you um, describe this package. So a lot of people have been discussing like the number of recruiters. Yeah. What are your thoughts on it? Like what what, what do you think is the right number? Uh, well, I think in chaos, uh, this is a good number. I think four is a good oh, number. Chaos play, fairy. Yeah, if you play chaos fairy, this is a good number. But I think in like straight just fairy, you need like. Like as many fairies as you can get, because most of the time, if you draw multiples, you're just waiting to draw a herald anyways. Oh. And this way, it's a fairy to discard with herald. Yeah. So I think six is just the way to go. Like I think you, you have to see it, and if you see multiples, it's fine if you see herald. Okay. Yeah. And so it's, then another, it's just another monster with honest too. Like, yeah. Sometimes you just need another monster to a light monster for the honest. Nice. So that's the recruits and stuff, and then to float down and put like the dialks, which people are also playing it too. I don't know why. Um, it's like your best monster just because he's 1800. Sometimes the vanishing, you don't hit the right monster, but the fact he's 1800 is like, you need it. Like, yeah, he's, he's pretty decent. So, yeah. yeah, everything else is so small. And then it's a fairy and it reoccurs like DD World and stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, three of those. And then the reason I wanted to play this version of the deck and not the Chaos. Holy one is three, shit! Three DD Warrior Lady. Uh, whatever the deck struggles with, I mean, except for Riker. Riker is like your biggest thing, but like any big monsters, like that's what DD Warrior Lady's for. Yeah. And a lot of the times you like bluff people by like setting recruiters. So if you set this, they don't see yeah. anything and they attack and do it. I've seen one that played in the, in the finals yeah. where you set it. And then, and then the opponent tribute for Vanity yeah. Steam. <laughs> I think it was a recruiter, and then he attacked, and then it was a deal. That was juicy, yeah. bro. Plus, it's a, it, it also feels deal out. So if you open with this and you get it to banish it, yeah. deal out already has a monster that's banished. So yeah. if you miss, it's not that big of a deal. Oh. Yeah. Hey, go format players are jealous right now, bro, because right. this card is at one. Yeah, this card should be a, This card's really good. Yeah, this card's broken. Yeah, it's probably the best card all day, because you just like float down into it when you need to. Yeah. Like, Shining Angel. When your fairy counts right, you just skip four, and then you summon a new warrior lady. Mm -hmm. It just causes problems for a lot of decks. Yeah. Uh, for hand traps, uh, the best one, three herald. Um, this is what makes the deck good. Like, uh, just stopping, like having interaction with your opponent's turn, which is why I wanted to play the deck. I didn't want to lose the dragon turbo. Oh and yeah, this, fuck that deck. Yeah, this card like lets you at least play on their turn. Yeah. So if they go like red eyes and stuff, you can herald it and then you yeah. survive. Can you can you herald a nemesis? Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Herald negates the activation of the artifacts. Damn. Yeah. So, and then so you can like negate police and honest as well. Wow. Yeah. I think and that, can you negate? You can negate gores and shit too, right? Yeah, you can negate gores. I think today I had to uh, book a Christia, call back a level four, summon this, make a six. I made Goyo, attack the Christia, and then so Christia's chain link one to go back on top. Yeah. Goyo's chain link two. So when I activate Goyo, the Chaos Fairy guy heralded, <laughs> and then I heralded his herald. So Damn. And I still had another Christie with four fairies in my graveyard. Wow. After I herald, so I, like, after that I was just set. It was really nutty. Wow. But yeah, the fact that you can use that during the set is really good. How old the orange yeah. like? And then the other two hand traps, honest, like the best one. Like, yeah. Do you wish he was at three? Yeah. All your monsters are light. I can see why it's at three. Yeah. It's absurd. Like, people always think, like, oh, can I attack with that recruiter or am I going to get honest? Yeah. So, uh, I do play the three. Uh, it helps with graveyard count. Uh, 1700 and he just gets rid of a bigger monster than him and the fact that he banishes two lights and it doesn't always have to be fairies like if you have 
five or whatever, you can banish like a new order lady to one in the graveyard. Yeah, yeah. Or you can banish like the, the one Raikou. Oh, you play a Raikou? Yeah, I just play one. Uh, typically I slide it out, but like people don't see a game one. It was expected recruiter. So if you set this and then it just gets rid of like something that, that you're, you're having trouble with with all the small monsters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then but I played that because I also played three Rotom, which is why I can oh. see later. But you flip it, you get proactive, pop a card, and then on their turn when they go to attack over for damage, you just poke it and you get to pop another card. Wow. And plus, the milling does come up. Like earlier today, I milled three fairies when I only had one in graveyard. Yeah. So I milled three, and then I just got so many fairies to do it. Wow. Nice. Uh, the last light monster, Cyber Valley. Uh, this card's low key underrated, bro. Yeah, it's just good because you float into it. Uh, and then you play my control for anything, so... And then you like draw two, yeah. yeah. Crazy. Um, for spells. Uh, a little bit weird. I played on my body. Um, game one, like, Torrential and Mirror Force hurt. Uh, bottomless hurts and drop Christina. So this kind of solves all the problems. And then, the like, post side, if you're playing against a deck that, uh, play DDD. Yeah. Uh, this is good against DDD if you already have a little strong yeah. That's the reason I played that. Uh, one Chalice. Oh! Uh, I think people are underrating this card. Um, is this is this normally played in this no, deck? No, I don't think so. I don't think people. I think people should be playing it. Like at least in this deck, because you bump up the recruiters to eighteen hundred, which like it doesn't sound great. Yeah. But if they had, like say you're playing against Black Wings and they attack a recruiter, you can pump it up to eighteen and make it so they have to use a Kalu, and then oh. you get to recruit another monster anyways. Because if not, then the Shura crashes with the recruiter, and you get a plus one because you get to keep a monster. Oh. Yeah. Plus it's just, it's really good against frogs because they. You don't care about making Kaya's twenty eight hundred. Like you care about keeping your recruiter so that when they run over it, you get another one anyway. Okay. Yeah. So I think I think this card is severely underrated. Nice. Uh, I did main deck a soul release. Oh my god. Well. Just for like graveyard decks, zombies. I know a lot of players here play zombies. A lot of players yeah. play zombies. Bayou. Yeah. And it, it also just helps you because again, it helps mitigate your graveyard count for fairies. Oh yeah, you can banish your own cards. Yeah, right? yeah. And I think that that came up the most, like banishing two of mine to have. A Having four dropping Christina. Yeah. And then you get to banish three of the other opponents. Fire, so, yeah. fire. Uh, the best card, probably. The best spell. Uh, Book of Moon. Book of Moon. Uh, hey, shout out to uh, Paul. He yeah. used to. Uh, Paul used to play three Book of Moons yeah. too. But, uh, so it helps dodge bottomless um, and deep prison. Uh, this deck kind of folds to deep prison. Whenever you summon a recruiter and go to attack to yeah. crash in the deep prison, it feels like you lost the game right then and there. So yeah. I think Book of Moon is kind of needed, even though it's a minus one. Yeah. It also has like utility for uh, synchro decks, like flipping the tutor's face down and then crashing into them on your turn. So yeah. I think uh, Book of Moon is really good. Uh, then like obvious stuff, mind control for the Cyber Valley, brain control. And then MST. Yeah. 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 I think those are like part two. Yeah. Like, so, yeah. I call those the go format staples. Yeah, you can. You, 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 you don't really need an explanation yeah. to play these cards, yeah. Uh, traps, I didn't play many. Uh, two pools. Oh. Um, I think this card is just good against like the meta right now. And, uh, it helps save recruiters and whatnot. And Christy, I think it's bottomless. You just compulsive that to your hand. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think it's just versatile. It does feel like kind of iffy sometimes and occasionally I side it out, but I, did, I just wanted uh, some defense. And then, Royal Haunted. Uh, I feel like that's a given. Uh, one time today I herald. Discarded Christia. And then and call then it. Call him on a return. That's then, like, sacky. Like, for all, I just called it. That's sacky, then, bro. Yeah. So, like, it's just a sacky card. Yeah. There's a, some plays you do with, like, normal summon a monster, call a haunted, uh, herald, and then you Or you can, like, uh, actually, I was gonna say you can call call the haunted Cyber Valley, but yeah, that, that bitch is probably banished. banished. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, obviously, I'll play Trap I feel like you have to play that. And then I did main deck one oppression. Oh. Uh, just like I said, lots of zombie players. Uh, it's pretty bad against Frog and Blackwing, but that's why you side. That's why you only play one. Mm -hmm. And then the cards that help you beat the Blackwing matchup is Decree. Decree. Yeah. The, um, summoning Christia and having Decree just feels game breaking. Like, they don't have any easy outs to it. Unless you're playing against Barry and they have like TD War Lady. But yeah, Christia plus Decree just feels like absolutely game breaking. Damn. Yeah. I, I, what, by the way, you don't play Mirror Force or Torrent? No, I uh, I did for a little bit, but I just felt like Compulse was better because it helped me as well. Uh, you know, like being able to bounce my own monsters if I didn't so. yeah. Plus too many trap cards and you see Dupree often with them and then you're like, oh, this is worthless. Yeah. Um, It'd be like that, bro. Yeah, I did play the trap version with like Deep Prisons and Bottomless for a little bit. But then you just like dead draw all those cards. Yeah. Whereas like Dupree solves all the issues with the deck against like... Uh, deep prison, yeah. which the deck holds too, man. Yeah. I feel like uh, your opponent's trap 
traps hurt you the most? Yeah, exactly. So I, I just felt like it was really good today. Yeah. I'll go to side deck, uh, Cyber Dragons. Uh, they're lights. Broken. So you have to play them. It's a, just a free special. It's good against Blackwing. 2100 is hard to get over. Plus you have Honest always. So. Yeah. Uh, there's also, like, I wanted to be able to make Ancient Sacred Wyvern. Oh. And the only way to do that is like, a level 5 <laughs> yeah. light and then the uh, Herald. Mm -hmm. So you, you can make it you that make way. make a 7, yeah. Yeah, plus if you play against Machine, it's there for that. Oh. Uh, two Thunder King. Uh, typically these light. cards uh, go in against, like, any dark deck just because you side out some of the recruiters or small monsters so you don't lose to deck damage. Oh yeah, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. The, the cyber dragons and the... Yeah, because they're all bigger. And then, yeah. like, this is good against zombie, like, set goblins on turn one, you just attack into it and mm -hmm. feel horrible. Um, and it's a light. Uh, yeah. One breaker, uh, just for, like, oh. anybody that sided uh, light imprisoning mirror, or, like, any kind of flood king traps or, like, spells or anything. So, uh, it only came in a couple times, never summoned it, though. Uh, one consecrated, which I think I do want to play two of. Broken yeah. card against Black Wings, bro. Especially because you just like float down into it off the shining yeah. angle. So yeah, yeah uh, good card. Uh, one DD Crow. That's for like zombie decks. Uh, right? Anything that plays like plague. I don't even side it against Ryu because Miracle. Too fast. What about Miracle Fusion decks? Is it? Uh, I can it... see it. I do if I like find out if I figure like some other card like Decree isn't very good against like Frog Hero. So yeah. I side this in just because you have nothing else to side. Uh, spells for the side deck, uh, double nobleman. Oh, uh, I saw these at work today. Yeah, a, I drew him like back to back and he kept setting monsters because he was yeah. in a hard position. Yeah. But yeah, nobleman really good uh, for anything that plays like Ryan Go. So that, that's mainly what it's there for. Plus I played against a fairy guy and nobleman came in against that because he's on the chaos version. So he plays recruiters and like sang it and stuff, but yeah, mm -hmm. same thing. Uh, the second my body for DDB decks. Or like trap heavy decks, like uh, black wing. Mm -hmm. You just want to win the black wing. If they, if they Icarus you, you're like, bam. Yeah, exactly. One for two. 1500 doesn't feel so bad when you're putting them in a bad position. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the second Forbidden Chalice. Um, like I said, just underrated card. Look at shoddy, bro. <laughs> it, uh, it always goes in against frogs. Uh, just absurd against frogs. Yeah. So. I like it. Wait, what do you chalice in frogs? Like a dupe or something? Uh, well, you can chalice like monarchs, but also like a big thing is if they go substitute on a oh, tribute, like oh. a Stratos on their first turn, you chalice the substitute because they already And it's negated. The cost. Yeah, and it's negated. Oh, and shit. And you just get over it, yeah. It's a little, it's just interaction. It's not bad, what yeah. the hell? Yeah. And I don't play enough traps, so I figured I just needed as much interaction as possible. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then I had three traps, the second oppression, just for anything that special summons. And then the Frog Killer, Master District. Oh. Uh, some people play Pulling the Rug, but I feel like that card just doesn't do enough. It stops one monster, whereas like this stops them from going like Vanity's Fiend, or Kaius. Soul just, Exchange today. Yeah, Soul Exchange, it stops <laughs> all of it. Yeah. It did come in, some guy tried to Soul Exchange me. Uh, and then he Joaquin just, did. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Joaquin. Shout out I to felt Joaquin bad, because I only sided one and I saw the one. But he went soul exchange and I just changed master of strength. Yeah, so he that. minus one, yeah. Yeah, and then that was the game I opened up double knock and it was just bad. Yeah, he was he was struggling, bro. Yeah, I, I felt a little bit of that. Yeah. Yeah, I felt disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> um some tokens, typical little tokens I've always played. Jujutsu Kaisen, uh Quintessential Quintuplets, Haiku and Demon Slayer. Yeah. Hell yeah, yeah. bro. Uh, uh, so extra deck. Come out attack, you play the Cyber Dragons. All you have is space in this extra deck, so you can kind of just play whatever you want. None of it really matters. Uh, Armory Arm. Brio is the biggest one. Uh, floating down into a level 4 and having a Herald in hand. And then making Brio and discarding some fairies to bounce cards and then dropping Crispia comes yeah. up a lot. This is the one that probably comes up the most. Uh, Catastrophe, a little out of order there, but Catastrophe and Android. Never made these, but theoretically they might control burn control, so yeah, it could happen. Yeah, uh, or this, did, this did come up once against the zombie guy today. He zombie mastered to summon Spirit Reaper. Yeah, and I just made this and kept smacking the Spirit Reaper, and he could never get rid of it because I had it with up. a decree. Yeah. It's fucked up, so it's bro. good against frogs and zombies. Uh, Tempest Magician, oh. uh, and it requires a spellcaster, but like I said, you play mind control, break control. Yeah. And this is something that also helps you discard stuff, and then burn them, and then you just summon Christia. Yeah. Uh, the best six, Oyo, made this a lot today. Oh, the ultimate. Yeah. Check this out. Yeah. I actually just realized, I don't have the Ancient Sacred Wyvern in here, actually. Oh. I think it's in my binder, but yeah. That's cool, that's yeah, fine. This, this should be the Ancient Sacred Wyvern. Hey, don't look, don't look. Uh, yeah, what's going on here? <laughs> uh, Black Rose, just the 
good level sevens. Uh, Stardust, uh, Dark Gun. You need a Dark, so Ooh. it like hardly comes up. But yeah. Mind control or brain control the highest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Summon Herald to make it. Like I'm sure it's possible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Thought Ruler, uh, Standard, Colossal Fighter, and then RDA. And I think that's all of it. Yeah. yeah. There's some changes for this. Like, like I said, this is all space. So yeah, I feel like you know, it, you you better have uh, have these cards than than not. You yeah, know. Yeah, exactly. And like I said, ancient sacred wyvern instead of the ancient uh, fairy dragon. Nice. Yeah. Other than that, I think it really doesn't matter. Hell yeah, bro. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. It's been your boy Echo YGO and Brett Perez. The store is busy as fuck. I'll see you guys later. <laughs>